Greetings to each of you from all of us here at Mount Zion African Methodist Episcopal Church, where the Reverend Wendell C. Webster, Senior Pastor, Brother Earl Kearney, Jr., Worship Leader, Brother Willie Frank Bowen, Organist. Today, the lay organization is in charge of our worship service. We welcome you to our place of worship, God of wisdom, God of understanding, God of knowledge. Welcome, friends. Let us worship the doxology. presence at all times. Let us humble and hear ourselves to be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt our God together. The Creator has planted seeds in our hearts. May we be nurtured by them, just calling on God at all times. May we be blessed and build upon his others. The Holy Spirit moves in us, encaging us and always being with us. Bless the Lord. May the Lord bless the words of our mouths. Hear the Lord as we pray. The hymn of praise, hymn number 21. To God be the glory. The Invocation by Brother Henry Allen. What shall I render 
unto God. Everything is God and belongs to God. Forgiveth all thine iniquity yeah, yeah. and who healeth all thine diseases. Yes, know ye that the Lord, he is God. Yes. It is he that hath made us mm. and not we ourselves. Yeah. He know all about us. Yeah. That's why we call it on you today, oh God. Yeah. We sometime up and sometime yeah. down. Yeah. Sometime almost level to the ground. Mm. Have mercy today, oh God. Yes, as we celebrate late day, oh God. Mm -hmm. Our church was organized by Richard Allen. Yeah. 1776, mm. we've been going for a long time. Yeah. Yet Mount Zion AME Church, mm. which was coming to re-existing, mm. down on uh, well, in Port of Orange, mm -hmm. moved to yeah. South Street, mm -hmm. and then to Martin Luther King Boulevard. Yeah. And we thank you for blessing us, oh God, yeah. to be here for a long time. Thank you, Lord. We ask you, O oh God, to bless the sick and afflicted. Yes. Bless those who are less fortunate than we are. Yes. Bless our servant today, O oh God. Bless my family. Yes. Remember my wife, O oh God, who in the nursing home. Yes. We ask you to heal, O oh God, in the name of Jesus today. Yes. Yes. Have mercy. mercy. That if my people who are called by my name yes. will honor themselves and pray, yes. and seek my faith, yes. and turn from your wicked ways, yes. I will heal your land yeah. and heal all your diseases. Uh -huh. Have mercy, dear old God. Mercy, we call it on you because we need you. Yes. Jesus say, come unto me. Yeah. For all that labor and heavy labor. Yeah. And I will give you rest. Yeah. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lonely and hard. And you shall find rest unto your soul. Yeah. Have mercy today. Right. Yeah. Jesus say, have mercy, oh God. Have mercy. Whatever have mercy. you need. I am here. Yes. We actually bless the COVID-19. So many yeah. our people is going, oh God. Yeah. We actually help us. Come by and see about us. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Yeah. Amen. 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 Amen.
the scripture remind us and encourage us to magnify the Lord today in this place of worship. Let us read Old Testament Psalms 118, verse 24 through 27a and 29. New Testament, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 1 through 11 of the New International Version, Sister Joyce Howell. Good morning, Mount Zion members and friends. It is good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. I will read from you the scriptures from the book of Psalms in the Old Testament and, I'm sorry, yes, and the Old Testament, the book of Psalms, and the New Testament, 1 Corinthians. I am reading Psalms 118, verses 24 to 27a and 29. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. O Lord, save us, O Lord. Grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord we bless you. The Lord is God, and he has made his light shine upon us. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his love endures forever. Psalms, first Corinthians, that's first Corinthians chapter 12, verses 11 through 20, verses 4 through 11, excuse me. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but the same God works all of them and all men. Now to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. To one, there is given through the Spirit, the message of wisdom, to another the message of knowledge by means of the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by that one Spirit, to another miraculous powers, to another prophecy, to another distinguishing between spirits, to another speaking in different kinds of tongues, to still another the interpretation of tongues. All these are the work of one and the same spirit. And he gives them to each one, just as he determines. I have read for you the Old Testament Psalms, verses 118 to 20, verses 24 to 27, a and 29. The New Testament, 1 Corinthians 12, verses 4 through 11. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers, readers, and doers of his holy word. Amen. 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 and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophecies. <laughs>
Beyond the Walls in 2021 as we serve as participants on the second Sunday 2021 worship program at Mount Zion African Methodist Episcopal Church. We have rededicated ourselves to serve God beyond the walls. By deepening our spiritual life for 2021, we rededicate ourselves to bring the light on the hill that draws all men, women, and youth to Jesus Christ. By sharing teachings about our Lord and Savior, we rededicate ourselves to encourage active involvement of our church, Mount Zion. By committing to the discipline as a regular Christian, looking for growth, fellowship, and educational opportunities. Yes, as participants on this second Sunday, 2021 worship program, we rededicate ourselves to strengthening and expanding opportunities for the pursuit of knowledge of who we are, what we believe, how we manifest our dedication to God and the church beyond these walls. We are sharing this spotlight with you today, hoping you will join us by being committed to working with the leaders of our church. Mount Zion is building a strong foundation in the spreading of the gospel beyond the walls. On that note, the church says, Amen. We take this time right now to go to God in prayer, asking God to not only see about us, but to be concerned about the affairs of others. So if you would right now, build an altar around where you are, that we may go to God and ask that God see about our family and our friends and our loved ones. So prepare your hearts now to prepare to sing this hymn. Yes. That God might come, yes. might do what we know we can do. Come on, let's sing. You have longed.
come to call some names and as you go and see about them and touch them right now, God. And let them know you're still God. You still care for them. So we call the name of Brother Sam Rogers. Yes. We call the name of Brother Fred Lucas. Yes. We call the name of Brother Jerome Wiley. Yes. We call the name of Sister Amina Scurry. Yes. We call the name of Sister Mary Rutledge. Yes. We call the name of Sister Ethel Johnson. Yes. We call the name of Fanny Johnson. Yes. We call the name of the Lord's Oliver. Well. Oh, God, go and see about them all. Yes, Lord. And touch them right now, God, and let them know you're still the God of heaven and earth. Yeah. That you still move upon the waters and move in our soul. Yeah. So bless right now, God, and move right now and change that condition right now yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Father, we extend a special prayer to the Reverend Raphael Warnock, yeah. the new yeah. senator elect from the state of Georgia. Yeah. We thank you, God, for what you've done in his life. And we yeah. thank you, God, that he'll be in the sin bill. Yeah. Oh, God, we thank you right now. Yeah. Bless our nation, nation of turmoil right now. Bless it, God. Jesus. We pray right now for the new president-elect. Yes. Well, that he'll bring calm and composure to our nation's yeah. capital. Yeah. 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 So bless us right now, God. Yeah. We just ask right now for you to just... Let your glory fill this place. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we know we've been touched by the Most High God. Well. So keep us now, we shall be kept. Yes. Bless us now, we shall be blessed. Yes. This is in the name of Jesus Christ that we pray. Jesus. Amen. 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 Is your all on the altar? Your heart that the spirit control. You can only be blessed and have peace and sweet rest as you yield him. God, some praise right now in this building. Thank God. The presentation of our speaker. What is so intriguing and exciting about our speaker? We frequently discuss biblical concepts and the Lord is my shepherd. When two or three are gathered in his name, touching and agreeing on the same thing, he will be your God in the midst thereof. Blessings will fall from heaven above. They say, she is a down to earth person. They say, she speaks from experience. They say, she is biblically grounded. They say she is anointed. They say she's practical. They say she connects with the audience. Today, I am proud, proud experience of our performance. The Reverend Joyce Anderson of our church is our speaker. I can say individually, I can say collectively, she is a child of God who studied God's word effectively, efficiently, and understandingly. At the scene of the next election, you will hear the words of, the voice of, Reverend Joyce Anderson of Mount Zion African Methodist Episcopal Church.
Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It is with great pleasure that I give honor to our pastor, Reverend Wendell Webster, and our first lady, Sister Sheila Webster, Reverend Willie Branch, Jr., Apostle Francis Larry, Minister Rashad Bryan, the Mount Zion Lay Organization, and my Mount Zion family, and all who are connecting with us today. We serve an awesome God. To God be the glory. Let us pray. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for this divine appointment. Have thine own way. You are the potter and I am the clay. This I pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Our scripture, the 136th Psalm, first through the third verse, New King James Version. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endures forever. For a subject, think with me on these words, a lifetime guarantee, a lifetime guarantee. There are quite a few definitions for the word guarantee. Today, we will use the definition positive assurance that something will be done in the manner specified. We find many things have lifetime warranties. It is stated in the contract, if something should happen to the product, it will be replaced or repaired. The psalmist in the 136th Psalm is praising God for his unwavering faithfulness. The psalmist is saying God can be counted on to carry out his promises. This psalm is a reminder that God showed commitment to his people by bringing them out of Egypt to the promised land. All through biblical history, in the Old and New Testament, we can find God's faithfulness. We can find our Heavenly Father showing his faithfulness in many ways to many people. He showed his faithfulness to Job by giving him more in his last days than in the beginning and restoring his health. He showed his faithfulness to Daniel in the lion's den. The lions had no desire to eat Daniel. He showed his faithfulness to Joseph by making every bad and evil thing that happened to him work for his good. He showed his faithfulness by his son Jesus, our Lord and Savior, healing the sick, causing the blind to see, and raising the dead, a lifetime guarantee. Now here we are in 2021. So many things are happening. The list is too long to talk about at this time. But I will say this, God is in control. And what was true in yesterday is still true today because the Bible says Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. The Bible also says heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. God said it, 
that settles it. A lifetime guarantee. In the physical, when you have a product, you have a choice to receive the warranty. The same process happens in our spiritual lives. We have a choice. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. On this Christian journey, our manufacturer, our heavenly father, let us know that we can depend on him all of our life. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Our Heavenly Father is always in business. He won't retire or be replaced. He's God all by himself. When we take the time to read and study God's word, we find so many benefits, blessings, and promises we can stand on. Our Heavenly Father lets us know there is nothing too hard for Him. He lets us know He will never leave us or forsake us. He lets us know we can cast all our cares upon Him. A lifetime guarantee. For us to operate properly, some of our instructions are to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, and mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. Trust in the Lord and lean not to thy own understanding. Acknowledge him in all thy ways, and he will direct thy path. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and he will strengthen thine heart. Let us remember these three things. Our manufacturer, who is our Heavenly Father, he will make us waterproof. When the storms of life are raging in our lives, he will give us a covering and we will begin to take our eyes off the storm and put them on God Almighty. And the thunder rolled and the lightning flashed. But after a while, by and by, just a little while longer, we will hear peace be still. He will make us fireproof. We will go through our fiery trials of life, knowing that the testing of our faith produces perseverance. And perseverance produces character and character produces hope. And when we have hope, no matter what happens, we will continue to believe the best is yet to come. Always remember, our Heavenly Father will make us theft proof. When the enemy Satan comes in and try to steal, kill, and destroy, remember the Bible says, in Isaiah, the 54th chapter, and the 17th verse, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Victory is ours. We have a lifetime guarantee that whatever happens, we will be taken care of. The hymnologist wrote, be not dismayed, whatever may be, God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide, God will take care of you. Through every day, over all the way, God will, God will, God will, God will take care of you. A lifetime guarantee. A lifetime guarantee. God is able, he's able, he's able, He's able to carry us through. Thank you, Lord. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. At this time, we take the opportunity 
that we cannot afford to pass by. To ask if there's anyone listening today and you have not accepted the greatest invitation, the best invitation you could accept is to take Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. To have a relationship with the Lord. Let us know. Contact us by text or word of mouth or somehow, some way, get in touch with us. Our pastor, Reverend Wendell Webster, and the whole entire Mount Zion family is ready and willing to hear from you. Or you may have already accepted Jesus as your personal Savior, but you may be looking for a church home. And we extend the invitation to you to come and join with us as we help you and we love you and put our arms around you and we all work together as we continue on this Christian journey. We're here, we're willing, we're ready, and we're waiting. A 24-7 invitation. Jesus is calling today. There's no better opportunity than now. We will now have our act of giving by Sister Betty Robinson. We thank you for contributing to the continuation, uplifting growth of Mount Zion Church. You can give electronically through Giftify or stop by the church on Sundays from 9.30 until 11.30 a.m. Wednesdays from 11 until 1. And the mail slot at the church is always available for your tithes and offerings. We also are continuing our pledge campaign for our conference budget for the year 2020-2021. All pledge sheets must be submitted by January 31st, 2021. If you don't have your pledge sheets, please contact Sister Sharon Branch or stop by the church and pick up one. All pledges must be paid by March 31st, 2021. We thank you in advance. discovery hour at 9.30 a.m. Um, you can call the church for more information 
at 386-252-2412. Also on Sunday, January 10th, from 12 to 1 p.m., we will be celebrating the 90th birthday of our dear member, Sister Abella Tuma. Please mm. join us for this celebration. She is now another one of our members to reach that great mark of 90. Thank you. We solicit your prayers, participation, and support of our witness in this place. May God bless you always. Reverend Wendell Webster, officers and members of Mount Zion AM Church. <clears throat>